I've been Narcan probably about, I don't know, I'm guessing about 15, 16 times. I've had to be hospitalized for over a week because that was some, one time all my organs shut down on me. I've had uh, to Narcan some of my own family members, my own friends. I've brought back two people, but one of them, was, I brought them back like three times. I know how it feels to be Narcan. It's a good thing to have and uh, to have there if you're a user because it will save a life. And the very first time I had to I helped save, bring somebody back, I was like completely like, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? Running around like a chicken with his head cut off, trying to figure things out. Luckily, a friend of mine was there that actually saved me. I was actually his first person that he brought back. And uh, he showed me all kinds of different like, st techniques and like, that he had learned over the time. And I luckily walked in the minute after he did a shot. And I'd, each time I'd be going to the sink to get the drink of water and I'd turn around and his dog would be acting all crazy. I'd look and see that he was just turning purple. So I'd right away rush to him, started trying to move his body to get some blood to flow back through. And then I would just talk loudly to him so he would he could hear my voice and I'd try to get a response. I'd start to get water and drop it on his on his head so it would cause his body to to force him to uh, breathe, to stimulate uh, stimulate his uh, nervous system, to just try to keep him aware. And I'd tell him, like, if I feel like you need to be Narcan, I'm gonna Narcan you because I ain't gonna let you go like that. Sadly, I wasn't around when he did pass away. Uh, and I was there earlier that night. And so I felt so bad for not being there, but I can't be there. The person can't be expected to be responsible for another person's life 24-7. It's going through the stresses that a person goes through and you decide to use drugs to deal with it. If you didn't have the drug in your life when you were going through that stress, you could have possibly committed suicide without that drug. So I've opened a lot of people's eyes by telling them that and they never looked at it that way. But uh, the way I feel is like I, if I wasn't on drugs, I probably wouldn't be here because I probably would have with suffering from depression, I probably would have took myself out. The way society has Im implanted this idea of the way life should be, the way the way we should be living, the stresses that don't even matter. Because in the end, when you're lying there, almost knowing you're gonna die or thinking you're gonna die, uh, a lot of a lot of regrets cross the mind, and you're you're just like, now if I could redo it again, I'd. I wouldn't be stressing over some stupid bill or some trying, materialistic thing trying to impress somebody with some fancy car I could barely afford or a house I could barely afford. I'd rather, I'd rather now that I, since I did get more than a second chance, I swear I have more lives than a cat, but uh, I basically taking those lessons that I'm trying to, trying to uh, do what, when I die, I want to have no regrets and spending time with my family, spending time with my daughter, teaching people uh, awareness to open their eyes to, to all the stigmas that society puts on, uh, out there on people to help bring them down or keep them ignorant to what's really going on in the world.